everybody, this is City Scrapper. Thanks so much for joining me on my channel today. Today I have a scrapbook layout that I made using the December My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition Kit. My idea for this particular layout was to make a Christmas tree and then to put the photo and the flowers inside of it and then create a background as well. In order to do that, I was looking for a cut file, but it turned out that it was just as easy to just create one myself. So I just drew a tree. I drew half the tree and folded the paper in half, as you saw. And now I'm just cutting out the half of the tree. I'm going back and I am cutting out the inside as well. And that'll just give me the outline of a tree. And it's probably somewhere between a quarter and a half an inch thick. And in just a second, you'll see when I unfold it, it's just a very, very simple tree shape. So this is the background paper I'm going to use. It's a 49 in market pattern paper. I thought the colors of this collection were so rich. The reds are just so deep and I love the way the backgrounds are, I don't want to say distressed, but there's like a variation in tone that's just so beautiful. And my plan is to take these strips of paper and use these punches. They're all scallop punches, but different types of scallop punches. And to create strips and then to layer them behind the outline of the tree. Here I'm using the outline of the tree to make a solid tree. I'll be using this to anchor all of the strips too. So I'm just going to cut that out by hand. Once I have the background shape cut out, I draw a few horizontal lines on it and in that way the papers won't get too crooked. Now I'm just putting some adhesive onto the solid piece of paper and I'm layering the strips. And I'm kind of using a pattern of the pattern paper. So I'm using the green one, then the one that's white and red, then the plaid, then the red and white striped. And I repeat that throughout. I don't show you all of this, but it's just the same technique, if you can call it a technique, uh, repeated over and over again until you get to the top of the tree. In general, you want to start at the bottom and go up so that the papers lay correctly, but I didn't do that on the trunk at the bottom, so I do go back in with a couple of little scraps and layer those bits on the trunk so that the entire tree is layered in the same way. Along the bottom, I left the scallop kind of hanging over the bottom, and I like the way that looks before I put the outline on it. I end up cutting it off because even though I really like it, if I wasn't going to use the outline, I do want to use the outline, and I didn't like the way it looked with the outline. So I do end up cutting it off, but I think it looked nice as well. Now I'm taking the outline and I'm painting it green and I have these two colors of green. One's a dig deeper, almost like a pine green, and then the other one is a lighter, slightly yellowish green. And I'm adding several coats. I don't want the outline of the tree to look solid. I want there to be variations. So I'm trying to do that with the different colors of green. I paint it with the dark paint and then I go back in with some lighter paints and I just try to vary it a little bit. I want it to be prominent on the background, but I don't want it to just look too solid. Here you could see I'm adding a drop of red, and I learned that years ago in an art class that I took. If you want to make a color darker, you can add black to it, but a more colorful way to make a color darker is to add the complementary color. So the complementary color of green is red. So just adding a little bit of red makes the color a little bit darker. If you add too much of the complementary color, then it will look muddy. But if you add just a little bit, then 
it can help make a color darker. And if you don't have the exact color, you can always mix it. And if you want it to be lighter, you can add white. If you want it to be darker, you can either add black or you could try this out. Now I'm adding some white. I didn't want to mix in the white. I just kind of wanted to dry brush some white over the top. I just thought that it would add a little bit of a snowy Christmas tree kind of look to it. So I tried that out. Now I flipped it over on the back and I'm using some adhesive foam because I just want to pop it up a little bit. And I usually use the fun foam, but since I already have this in strips and they were just the right width, I thought that this would be perfect. And then I just peel the backing off of all of the adhesive foam and I attach that down to the tree. Now I'm trying out my picture. This is going to be my picture. It's from Christmas Eve. I'm not sure if it was last year, the year before. This is my older daughter. You can see there that I cut off the bottom of the tree, that fringe part that I was kind of thinking whether I should include it or not. I finally decided to get rid of that. So now I drew the outline of the tree and I am cutting out that piece because I want to use that piece to mount my photo on. I do end up adding some additional papers. You'll see in the close-ups that I did end up double matting the picture. I cut the picture a tiny bit smaller toward the end and it was one of those things that I just suddenly did it. I didn't film it. I sometimes will do that. It was a couple of days later and I thought this picture was like a little bit smaller. It would look better. So I'm trying to decide between the white side and the green side, and I finally went with the white side. In the end, I wanted there to be more green in the tree, so I went back in. Like I said, I made the picture a little smaller. I put the white mat back on, and then I added some green paper to the back as well, and that helped to make the whole tree look a little bit, the tree area look more green. At this point, I'm ready to add flowers to the layout. These flowers are Prima flowers and 49 and Market flowers, and they're included in the kit. And there are so many of them that I have flowers on every layout that I made this month, and I still had a couple left over. Here, I'm just playing around with the clusters. I want to have clusters of different sizes. I want to make sure that I include all the colors in all the clusters. I only had that one white rose left and then that little tiny small rose, the little bud that I just put up on top. So I decided that instead of having the white in two corners, I would only have it at the top of the tree. And I thought that was fine because of course the top of the tree is kind of a special part of the tree. And there's gonna be plenty of other things around the layout that are that color. The middles of the flowers are that color, but I didn't want to have white in two corners and not all three of the corners that I have there. I hope that makes sense. I'm going into the background now with the stencil that's included in the kit and I'm adding some texture using some modeling paste mixed together with some white stencil paint. And I'm just choosing a couple of places to add that to. I don't want to cover up the beautiful designs that are on the background, so I'm choosing the more neutral areas to add some of the modeling paste to. Once I was done applying the modeling paste, I dried it with a heat tool. I cut out two little thin strips of that white and red striped paper. I thought that would look good on the top and the bottom, and it's just a really small strip, but I thought that it just added kind of boundaries to the layout. I like the way that looks. I popped up my photo on some foam. I'm continuing to arrange those flowers. And now I'm adding in some pine branches that I die cut. I have a couple of pine branch dies that I've used on most of my winter layouts so far this year, or I should say my Christmas layouts. I wanted to put a little bit more pizzazz into the background, so I got a uh, star stencil and I'm using this texture paste. I think it's called icing paste from Prima in antique gold, I believe. I will list everything in the description box that I use that wasn't inside the kit. 
I have this little banner from the kit that says comfort and joy. And I thought this would be a nice title. Just trying to find a spot for it. I initially put it up on top of the tree. I cut out some, I had one leftover strip, that strip that's right there that was punched out. I had one of those and then I punched out one more of those. And I decided to put that at the top and the bottom along with that red and white striped diagonal paper. And now I decided that I wanted to put that comfort and joy title off to the right. Then I'm going to make a cluster to go along with that. Before I do that, though, I'm just adding some of this Prima Snowflake paste to all of the white pine branches. Now I'm popping the title up on some foam, attaching that down. And now I'm going in with some of the flowers and I'm going to add a cluster of flowers and pine branches, leaves, those little branches that have the berries on them right there. And I didn't want it to be too large of a cluster, but I did want there to be something around the title that drew your eye to it. I'm also including some bows that I tied. I had this gold ribbon in my stash and I thought it would look pretty along with the flowers on the Christmas tree. Just gluing things down. I'm using Liquitex heavy duty gel medium and I like to use that to attach flowers and heavier things when I put those in the background. Now that for the most part everything is attached, I'm going back around with a sponge and I'm using heavy white gesso and I'm just going around and just lightly patting a little bit of gesso on all of the flowers and whatever other embellishments it hits. It hits the bows a little bit and that's okay. I like the way on the Christmas layouts it looks like snow, but it also just puts a common thread throughout the the whole layout where everything kind of looks like it goes together. I also go back in with some snowflake paste. This is Prima snowflake paste and I'm just adding a little bit of snow to areas where it looks like snow might have fallen on the flowers. The snowflake paste dries clear and I think that's important to keep in mind when adding it to the layout because it looks very white to begin with but then it dries to a pretty sparkly crystal color. Another thing I sometimes do is I'll add some diamond dust when the snowflake paste is still wet and that makes it look even more shimmery. So the next thing that I was thinking was it needed some gold. I have some gold in the background. I have these pine branches that I embossed with gold embossing powder and I used Moxie glitter gold to make these. I'm just going around and I'm trying to layer them with the white. I want to have both white and gold showing. The gold is very powerful, so I don't want to overpower the layout with too much gold, but I did like the way the gold looked, so I'm just trying to strike a balance between the gold branches and the white branches. Just arranging everything around the layout. I do go back in and I do attach everything with that acrylic gel medium and it's the heavy duty kind because some of these items are kind of heavy. I also added some red photo corners. I punched those out. I added some pearls to the photo corners and then I decided that I wanted more green inside the tree. So I took just green pearls and I use those ones that I have there on the left and they have all different sizes and I thought that was perfect to look like Christmas ornaments. Now I'm trying to cover up the whole tree. I'm going to put some white splatters but I just want them on the background. I don't want them to get on the tree and I don't want them to get on anything that's inside the cutout there. So I cover everything up with some plastic and other pieces of paper I had lying around. I just wanted to add that little touch of white splatters. And that completes this layout. Here are the close-ups. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking and leaving comments. And I hope if you're not a current subscriber, you'll consider subscribing. Please go over to the My Creative Scrapbook website and check out all the beautiful kits that they have available this month. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day. And I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everybody.
拜。